Welcome um, to the Monday Cypress Chess Talk, the fourth episode. With me we have a special guest, uh, woman feed the master Marina Sherkasova. Welcome Marina. Hi. Hi everyone. It's nice uh, to... Nice to talk to you here. Thank you. Uh, how, how was... Uh, how was the experience at the online women's uh, European online women's uh, chess club cup? <laughs> it was uh, interesting. Uh, it was quite hard, uh, especially I felt that uh, my opening said like most of them are professional players who play a lot, uh, who have a lot of trainings, or some of them are just young. Professional players, players just, um, maybe in the process of uh, developing their chess careers, and I think they also have a lot of trainings. So maybe I wasn't uh, ready enough to play against such opponents, but still it was interesting for me, and uh, I was excited, and uh, I want to improve to play better. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that's the most important thing, uh, uh, motivation to get better. Because otherwise yeah. we just stay um, it's the same for a long time. The last time, uh, recent time, I just don't train myself, only training with my students. And I think that I need some trainings for me as well. well not you, only. You're not that active anymore. You used to be a very active uh, chess player. Yeah, but it was like 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so we will see you being more active in the next few years. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, uh, I I have such motivation to play better if I will train at least like one hour a day. Uh, then I, I will be able to play better and uh, and I want to play. Yeah. Uh, which so we're gonna look at your second round game, yes, against. Yeah. Yeah. I lost this one. Veta Chikova. Grebin Chikova. Grebin Shik. Uh, I think it's uh, Grebin Chikova. Uh, Sounds uh, like Ukraine, this yeah. in Russian. Ah, Russian. Okay. Um, the surname is Russian. Maybe she's from Ukraine. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember either. So you were white, yes. Yes, I was white and uh, we had uh, similar rating, so uh, I hope to win this game. I like playing white because I like to attack. Yeah, and, and I uh, think I, I had chances uh, to have a good attack. And she played the open Sicilian, so I mean the Sicilian yeah. defense. So. Yeah. Okay, I don't like. I didn't have a chance uh, in this uh, tournament. I didn't have a chance to play Sicilian uh, for black. Nobody played e4, I think. Oh. D4 takes on d4. Knight takes. This is Taimanov, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, of Paul Paulson. With e6. Um. Okay. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember. Ah, oh, it says. Oh, it says Najdov. Najdov. Ah, yeah. Yes, uh, okay. okay. She started with e6, but then she went down into the Najdov. Okay. Okay, d6 mm -hmm. was played. Bishop e3. Knight f6. And now you played h3. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember all the openings, how to play. I just play by heart what I think to do better here. Yeah. So, as I don't remember openings uh, all the time now when I play, I need to think from the very beginning. Because I, so I think uh, bishop e2 is more the opening. Maybe. Yeah, bishop e2. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I, this is the way I would play bishop e2 to prevent knight g4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but okay, h3 is also a possible way to prevent knight g4. Also to... I'm just trying to remember how to make the arrows, yeah, to play g4 as well. Bishop e7, queen d2. Yeah. And the idea is to castle 
uh, opposite sides, yes? Yeah. Yeah. I think here I have good chances for attack because G4 is all... I'm ready to play G4 and uh, I don't see now real threats from black. Yes, black cannot start playing the usual B5, B4 idea yet because there's no pawn on A6, so... Yeah, and uh, when it's pawn on A6, they have to spend time to um, defend their knight on yeah. C6. So I played G4 and I thought that uh, I'm like, I'm the first who starts attack and uh, I have more chance. Yeah, so Queen C7, protecting the knight, as you said, we need to protect the knight and then go for B5, B4. Yeah. G5. And black goes knight to D7. I was like uh, in a hurry. I, I wanted to start attack immediately. Uh, it seemed to me that uh, as I started first, I should uh, go very fast. But I think maybe it was a mistake. Next move, my next move. So well, maybe I, I need I like needed G6. more preparation. Maybe hook G1 is an interesting move. <laughs> Yeah, uh, or h4. But h4, it seemed to me too long. h4 and h5, so it takes time. Let's see, they B5, want to do it faster. h4, yeah. this move. Because here it looks like... Okay, you have the pawns here, but I'm attacking your knight. The knight goes to e2, yeah? Yeah. Maybe queen, ah, no, queen e5, not good. I can capture the knight. Mm. Uh, and then here maybe a5. But then, okay, but then you have this. Yeah. So this is not playable. Mm, how can black stop g6? Actually, it's difficult for them. This, this looks bad due to this, yes? Mm, yeah, I, I open know. h uh, file and then I... I think I can move my queen uh, very quickly to this h line. Okay, I will just go knight here, maybe take it, take it, now e5 to try to break in the same well, maybe queen a5 what about queen a5 we're here yeah no when you uh, exchange on d4 so play b4 then uh, knight e2 uh, exchange Take. on d yeah and queen a5 this loses most part to knight c6 and then queen a2 Ah, you can capture oh, his this check. Looks yeah, okay, this is check and then move the queen up and... Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, black has nothing. Queen takes pawn as well. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. 5 it's... is not playable. But we, we, without taking... Oh, without taking doesn't work because the knight is hanging. Mm, yeah, because of knight. And this... Maybe knight e5. Knight yeah. c5 attacking this pawn. But you just go f3 and now maybe queen um, queen a5 now after taking queen a5 so let's see so take but it's still the same no ideas this doesn't work due to no, no it's the same yeah queen seven, uh, but okay but this doesn't look good maybe they don't need to exchange on d4 uh, here. Ah, what if they. Sorry. Uh, no. If you start with knight c5, yes. then f3. And now knight a5. And here, uh, maybe knight e5. Knight, uh, knight e5. Attacking the f3 yeah. pawn. Um, the knight is going to c4. c4. Okay. And the queen can come now to a5 uh, because we don't have any more this move knight c6. 
Yes. Okay. Yeah, this looks like an this looks like a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. So here. So I didn't want um, uh, to let uh, Black play like this to to give her any chances to play to like uh, to attack. I wanted to start first. Maybe that's why I started with G six, a uh, little bit aggressive move. Yes. Now after this. Uh, when I played G six, uh, here. Um, yeah, G six, uh, and then I played H four. I was going to play H five. Which yeah. Even which... after Knight F six. But then uh, you but, change your mind, yeah? Yeah, I changed my mind and I think maybe it would be better to play H5 here still. Yeah, it looks like a possible move. The only point is if it takes maybe Bishop E2. Now Bishop E2, yeah. G6. Uh, Rook D, G1, I think. Rook D or H? D, D, I think. D, D. G1, yeah. Okay, this looks dangerous, yes. Yeah, I think this, this, this was this kind of position I was going to have. I like such positions. I like to attack. Yeah, this is a uh, this looks very good, promising. In such positions, I feel myself better. That I know how to play, how to attack. It's easier for me. I think black has to take. I don't see something. Maybe only here after bishop e2, you black shouldn't play g6. Black should just ignore. And this. what if, and what if uh, she captures with the knight? Uh, Is it the same? Don't sacrifice. Maybe I don't know. But this might be too much because now g6. Maybe we can start with the same move with bishop e2 first, yeah. not uh, sacrificing immediately. And then knight f6. And then we can uh, maybe be should g5 or or we can try to make a battery on h file. Rook h2. Yeah. Okay, because after d5 this doesn't really work because of this move. Yeah. Yeah, this looks this looks really nice. Rook h2 is a nice move because black's king. Yeah. Nice so h. I think h5 uh, move was good one. Yeah. But what would she do? If she doesn't capture with the pawn... I don't then think black has any option. I think black has to take it. Has to take, yeah. Because, because take, I, otherwise I take. Yes, you take or you even do this. Maybe this. And, uh, yeah. And yeah, maybe h6 even better. Because I think after this, I don't think you did. Yeah, I think you can go this move. This looks. Yeah, yeah, h6 better superior. because uh, I thought about capturing g6 when pawn on e6 was hanging, when the knight was on uh, d7. Yeah. But now uh, it's protected by the bishop. So h6 is better, yeah. Yeah, because you can take and then there's bishop h6. And then you can even maybe you don't even need to play takes f8. You can play, for example, let's say this is played takes king takes check. I don't know if this this is something. <laughs> There's this queen coming here. Mm. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is uh, yeah. This this is nice. I think I don't know if it works, but it looks nice. It looks like it works. Uh, I don't see anything for black. Yeah. What can they do here? Yeah, so, yeah, here h5. Knight g4. Yeah, knight g4. Okay, and then f3. Uh, the problem with knight f3, h5 doesn't work because I just. Knight g4. Yeah, knight h5, rook takes h5, I think. Or simply queen h, queen h6, simple. After knight h5, you don't even need to take it. You just go queen h6 because... Okay, I think my uh, my chess base just... Yeah, 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 just queen h6. 
Ah, okay, perfect. My chess base came back. So yeah, knight g4 was played, <laughs> and um, the idea is, no, sorry, we were saying that if knight h5 was played, there's no need to take it because this is. Yeah, yeah. The mush, the engine yeah. is, the engine sees some defense. I don't see any defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is no defense. Bishop g5, queen g5, uh, yeah. knight g7, and still we have queen h6. Yeah, because it's yeah I think. Yeah, I think it's me. I don't see why. <laughs> okay, the the YouTube is not working. The YouTube not working. Uh, is it live? Okay, we're back to live. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, the internet is not. Let me see. It's uh. Yeah. Uh, okay, is it live? Working. Yeah. Sorry uh, to everyone, um, the internet mm -hmm. is not 100% stable. So yeah, here, yeah, this just loses. So knight g4, as you said, knight g4 needs to be played. And now, ah, uh, this, uh -huh. this is more dangerous because the queen cannot come to h6. Yeah. F3 maybe as you said. Yeah, the only thing I see about this is this move. Hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, it looks w it looks w it looks completely wild though. Everything everything is hanging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything is uh, okay. Yeah, everything is hanging here. So queen f four, no, or queen g two. Queen g two. I yeah. think it's just king takes bishop, and then after taking this, you lose to this. No, I can play here queen h three. I think instead ah. of taking the knight, queen h three. Queen h three. Black can take on b two. I don't know. I will take this pawn first. Okay, uh, king b1. King b1 and then bishop g5. Okay, that uh, suggested the the engine doesn't like my play, but I don't know. I think and this is fine. How many pieces I you lost? Two pieces two. down. <laughs> okay. Two pieces down, and there's. I don't and, think. Uh, Queen h7 doesn't give me anything, yeah? No, because king f6. You get one piece back. Yeah. But uh, you don't get anything here. Yeah, uh, so you yeah, h5. h5 would have been the correct way, most probably, to continue. Yeah, I like, I still like h5. Yeah. I think... Um, I'm not sure if she could find like all the variants that we are discussing now. Well, it's probably not yeah. because it's very hard in rapid to. Uh, yeah, and it's also uh, really. For me, it was hard uh, this time controls because uh, you have like an illusion that uh, you can think, and then uh, you have just seconds. Yes, and I, f uh, uh, I also find Tornello is a bit slow to play. It's hard to blitz on it. Yeah, and you can't pre-move. <laughs> yes, that I think yeah, pre-moving is it saves you so much time. So like blitzing yeah, yeah. on Tornello is very very hard. Yeah. Uh, when I was watching uh, the players playing live, I could see that uh, it's like. Like players couldn't play moves in seconds. If it was like over the board, you can do it. It's like it's much easier to play over the yeah. board than playing on Tornello. <laughs> yeah. For when I played, I um, for me, I decided that I should try not to spend much more time than my opponents. 
so I tried to be like on the same level of time but uh, with some of them it didn't work because uh, when I played like with the same um, time speed uh, they have better experience and they play better moves than me so yeah. so you continued here f4 yeah I decided to play instead of h5 I decided to play f5 oh okay this is a nice uh, seems interesting as well but I don't think you went for this though yeah <laughs> oh your point didn't let you yeah I didn't uh, think about this move e5 and now f5's idea is gone Mm -hmm. you, you have to go back and now black can start with her attack b5 maybe here again i should play h5 okay the difference though is i think there's bishop g4 in the meantime um and if i capture on g6 oh that's a nice that's a nice bit in between move but uh, the idea is if I take this look, you don't have rook h8. Yeah, I don't have because of the knight. And if I play queen h2, you can play even bishop h5 or uh, yeah, bishop h5. Yeah, or capture my pawn on g6. Yes, this looks even better. Because now the king can escape and you don't have this square yeah. is belongs to black. Yeah, it's not easy to play there. Yeah, so h5 doesn't work here. Yep, so after bishop e3, b5. And now you play the knight d5, dropping a pawn, yes? Uh, no, yeah. What am I saying? No, you don't drop a pawn because the qu yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. this. Yes, yeah, so knight takes d5, he takes d5, takes on f4, take, bishop f5. And then it seems that black is a healthy pawn up. Yeah, I have. Yeah, black, I think, yeah, you. Here I realized that. Uh, if I don't play bishop d3 here, then I can have problems on c2. Yes, because uh, c3 doesn't, doesn't work because of b4. Yeah, so uh, I decided to play bishop d3 because it's like uh, the only chance to stop. And I realized that after this move, I will have to go to endgame because of queen c4. I don't have a chance to uh, escape from the queen's okay, the only, uh, So I went to this end game without a pawn. Yes, a pawn but down. And black has a nice pawn structure. On yeah. But thing. I hope to uh, win this, uh, to take this pawn on c4. It seems like weak and to have my own game on queen side so maybe here rook d4 was an option yeah i could play this but, but this rook c8 and then c3 yeah i thought about this uh, variant but i don't know why i decided to play differently I don't think it does, I don't think, I think it could be an option to play and then maybe hopefully maybe. bring this look here to do this. But I think it's a long yeah. shot. Or maybe this, maybe this is a more realistic view. Yeah, but now I have uh, this pawn on h4 hanging. Yeah, so, maybe so if I play a rook e1, yeah, I will lose this pawn. So maybe bishop g3 and then rook e1. Maybe. Yeah. So and example, then e4, yeah. But black also has this move. 
forcing to exchange. Okay, you win this pawn, though. Yeah, yeah, I can pick this one. But still, if I take on d6, I will lose my d5. And then this pawn is more or less okay. Yeah. The more you exchange, I think the more it helps black. I don't know. Yeah, because they have strong this pawn on f f line. I think here, yeah. if you're a pawn down in the end game, you should exchange pawns, yes, and keep the pieces on the board. I think that's the strategy. In if you're a pawn down, you should exchange pawns. And yeah. Then sacrifice the bishop for the last remaining pawn. Maybe I should have played like something like b3 to exchange this c4 pawn c3. and start playing. If oh. he plays like this, I can uh, maybe. Yeah. And then start playing like c4. Ah, uh, yes, in line with the idea of uh, exchange pawns. Yeah, and trying to make. Uh, Mm, one pawn for me, uh, passing pawn, yeah? Yeah. But yeah, to try to force some exchanges. Yeah, and uh, I can open A line, so my rooks can attack this A6 pawn. Yep. Yeah, you and can if she B3. plays uh, C3, after b3 i think uh this move yeah and then if this is played you just double the rooks yeah it looks like i will win this pawn if bishop f6 then i capture take on d6 yeah because this doesn't work to you to just just take the rook sorry i made <laughs> a mistake and then this rook you know, okay then this rook coming here you just move the bishop away yeah, my nice. pawn is protected here. Yeah. You can even play bishop g5. And when your pawn is here, it opens the h5 mm -hmm. as well. It's double edge, it's not that easy to play. You had you didn't have a lot of time here, yes? Uh, I don't remember. Okay, h5 is not, not is I think the it backfires due to this. Hmm. This was a this was a nice move. I tried to exchange this H pawn to okay, H mm, this is not my playable. H six no. He can take. And then go keep yeah. With the idea of this. Hmm. Maybe. Because if this is played, bishop c3. Hmm, f6. f6. I would play rook here. Hmm. Yeah, I liked. Yeah, this looks... But again, I think black is... But uh, he can play here king g6. Uh, can I take this? King rook f bishop takes f6. I'm tempted to take this, but it's losing material, so no. No, maybe not here yet. Maybe just rook h2. Keep the rooks to be able to double the rooks again at some point. Okay, and here he can play like bishop. I don't know, d8 maybe. And ah, I cannot play bishop c7 because of bishop takes f6. Yeah. Ah. Bishop takes yeah. f6, moving away, winning the piece, winning pawns. So um, uh, maybe uh, she should no, just one move back. Maybe one minute. Mm. H6. So h6. Uh, yeah, here. So when you played rook h2, maybe king f7 or king f7. King... I think this rook here is also playable. The idea yeah. of moving the bishop and exchange rooks. Mm -hmm. 
And these three pawns uh, look dangerous. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is this is just marching. Okay, so this is not playable. Rook D G one going for the pawn. F six easily defending. Rook E one. Rook A seven. Okay, here it looks a bit okay. It doesn't look that doesn't look bad for you here. Yeah, it seemed to me that uh, I have like pressure, especially when she played rook f7 here. Seems like my pieces are more active, uh, but I didn't realize that I shouldn't let her play f5. So I had to put my rook back on g1 and try to just ah, so to stay. It. Yeah, prevent what about this, uh, this idea. For example, my idea is, for example, this. Mm -hmm. I don't know what can be played here. I'm just trying. I'll I'll just play some moves, whatever moves, okay? Okay. H six takes, and then the idea is this. Ah. Because now I think uh, I, I thought about this idea, but I didn't see what can I do next after F. And then I thought this move. Yeah, and king g7. And then it's checkmate, but... Ah, it's checkmate, yeah, sorry. <laughs> king g8 is the answer. King. So, yeah, and yeah this... king g8, yeah, so... So the thing is, you have to take block. this pawn. And now if it's here, there's this check here. And here maybe and king... you have dua now. Well, the thing is black yeah he can not play king f6 because of rook h6. f1 yeah rook f1 or rook h6 check is also playable ah okay so uh, she should stay like king g8 king g8 is yes and then this is just this duos and rook back hmm yeah but i think here the thing is after this move Black can play something like g6 even. I think uh, in this position when I had uh, such an active rook on e6, uh, maybe I just uh, misunderstood my uh, position. I was starting playing for win, not for draw. Oh. It okay. seemed to me that I have very good position and she has like very passive and uh, I started uh, to play for win. Yeah, okay, I don't know if this is, yeah, but here, it seemed it, it, it seemed to me that she can do nothing, that uh, her rooks like um, have to stay close to the bishop and I just forgot about this move f5 and that she has this dangerous pawn. Yeah, your your suggestion rook g1 is actually the best suggestion here, because black cannot then move. Yeah, and, and, and after this, this, I can play. It's not playable. <laughs> yeah, bishop g5 rook or rook g5. Yeah. Yeah. So my rook on e6 actually is on a very good position. So when I play rook g1. After I can play rook g4, maybe or not. Yes, f5 again. F5 doesn't work due to this. Uh, no, what am I talking about? Let's just play this move rook g4, f5. You have still the same problem because the rook is, not yeah, protected. yeah, the same problem. So you cannot take so I f5. should maybe I should start uh, here, maybe I should start playing like b3. Trend. No. The thing is, black doesn't have moves, so yeah. So maybe I I can start playing on this queen side, like b3, then c4. Yeah. Make my position better here. Rather than rush things with your. So I, yeah, I had to like uh, 
to prevent her playing f5 and uh, she has no moves and I can uh, play my own game here on queen side but I I wanted to just to take this c4 pawn and I forgot about this f5 yeah because now after f5 rook takes c4 your, yeah. uh, the position is basically gone yeah because now she has moves and she can play and i have uh, actually weak pawn on d5 yeah which then i lost <laughs> later i lost this pawn and yeah because there's nothing you can do really here there's there's this pawn being threatened this point yeah and she can exchange now the rooks like and so bishop started playing i should yeah. have stopped this uh because i let her play to move her pawn and uh to play with her bishop but when the bishop was on e7 i had uh, some chances yeah here here i think this is a very important position yeah I think we're going to move on to the next game because uh, okay from here yeah yeah then it was it's not more okay important yeah we'll look at the game you won okay I think yeah it was our the team's only win uh, where we played <laughs> we played the fellow Greeks <laughs> Galaxias we also did quite well, I think, against the teams that topped the group where we scored two and a half. We lost two and a half, one and a half in the last uh, round. Yeah, in the last round, yeah. Actually, uh, I thought that we would lose like uh, in previous <laughs> round. Yeah, for zero. But then I saw that uh, our team played well. Not me, <laughs> but the team. <laughs> So we look at it from the black side. Here you did play the Sicilian, but not open. <laughs> yeah, but not uh, the variant that I like. Uh -uh. So yeah. B3. So only first move was like Sicilian <laughs> and then... I don't know what to play on B3. I just started. Yeah, definitely not G6. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Knight F6. E5, knight D5, C4, knight C7, knight F3, D5, and queen takes D6. Why queen takes D6 and not this move? Uh, it seemed to me that the pawn on E7 is better than uh, on D6. I wanted it to move on e5 later. Oh, okay. Yeah, I always, I always take. I think I always take with the pawn, and it's always worse. I don't, I don't like uh, with the pawn because, uh, you or maybe push d5. Yes. Maybe here I can actually because I have this knight on c7, so maybe it would be nice. Well, actually, the engine agrees with you that queen takes d6 is the way to go. <laughs> yeah. Bishop e2, uh, e5. It was just like an intuition, but way better. Yeah. <laughs> e5. Yeah, e5 is yes. a nice move. Closing the bishop, d3, bishop e7, knight c3. Yeah, and. Uh, this knight on c7 it looks strange i've never had such knight on c7 but it looks nice that uh, she cannot play knight d5 and knight b5 so my knight is protecting these two squares which is very important it's a very powerful knight yeah so you continued with f5 yeah because i didn't want her uh, to play knight e4 yeah, oh, I thought you were going to go f5, e4, maybe yeah. like attack. And here you castle king's. Is there a chance to like castle queen side or is it too dangerous in this setup? Uh, actually, I don't like uh, castle queen side. Sometimes I do this plain white, 
but oh. black it's because I would have like gone maybe like bishop d7 <laughs> castle queen side g5 sorry I don't know maybe it's from like my childhood uh, oh. that I got used to castle and to uh, king side and uh, it seems to me more natural I don't know why <laughs> I, I usually, I'm not that aggressive when I play normal games. When I play normal games, I'm very, very, very defensive and passive. <laughs> when I'm watching mm -hmm. or playing bullet, <laughs> I go very aggressive. Aggressive. Player. Yes, okay. otherwise I'm a very passive player. Rook <laughs> 1. Uh, bishop f6. Taking over the diagonal. Uh, a3. Yeah, yeah. And you played b6. So you want the bishop on this diagonal? Yeah, yeah, it looks nice. To put the bishop here to attack the king. Yep. It seems that uh, for white it's difficult to play. They have a uh, bad bishop on e2. Uh, usually when I play Sicilian, I have such bishop uh, for black on e7 and pawn on d6. Yeah, so I they need reverse colors though. It looks reverse, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, they need to play d4 somehow, but it's difficult. I I don't let I don't let her play this d4. I try to stop it because I know all the problems uh, for black side when you have such bishop. So yeah, and you try to play d5 as black in the Sicilian defense at some point. Yeah, yeah. So a6, queen c2, knight d4. And now you take with the e pawn. So now actually she has uh, two uh, bad bishops. Uh, the one on b2 is also switched off from the game. And now another and then bad piece. Yeah, and the knight has no good moves. Oh, this to knight go on. b5 looks interesting. Knight b1. Mm. And bishop e5. h3. I was thinking about Taking on sacrificing. Yeah, I thought about first uh, bishop uh, h2, then bishop. So uh, to start with a check. And, then, he, and yeah. then bishop g2. But it doesn't work because the king can take this bishop afterwards. You can't check. Uh, the bishop. Yeah, maybe I calculated about the move uh, rook f6. But it seemed doesn't work. Bishop f3, yes, that's a nice move. Bishop f3 yeah. protecting. Yeah. Uh, opening the squares for the king to escape here. Yeah. Yeah. It looks dangerous, but... Uh, it uh, looks... I tried to calculate uh, such sacrifice in different ways, but uh, I spent uh, quite, like, yeah, not a lot work. of time, but I spent much time on this calculating, and then I decided not to risk. Yes, uh, I already have a good position, so... Mm, maybe it's to too, too early to sacrifice something. And uh, maybe here, instead of bishop h2, to sacrifice straight away. Why is the rook already on f6? Yeah, I played rook f6. Oh, yes, yeah. But your knight is coming, yeah, so it's more yes, difficult. I was to wondering it. if this is playable. But it's maybe just this, and if check here, king h1. Oh, it's too slow, it's too slow. Yeah. I don't have enough power to attack. Yeah. So I decided to... Rook f6. And then knight d2, and now check. And now maybe bishop takes g2. 
Mm. Because your look is now coming to G6. It seemed to me it doesn't work yet. Ah, it uh, doesn't work due to Bishop F3 again because of the knight. Yeah. So let's say this this doesn't work because you can't check you can't do this check due to Bishop F3. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work. King f1, rook g6, preparing the order check, and now bishop f3. Mm -hmm. So I tried to move all my pieces closer to the king. Yes, knight f4 looks very, very powerful. Hmm. So bishop c1, of course, to stop knight f4. Now you play bishop f4 to force the Yeah, because to... actually I don't need this bishop. Uh, it does nothing on h2. Yeah. But it's better for me to have a uh, knight on f4. And now rook f8. P2. Oh, no, knight g5. This is a nice move. So in this game, um, I tried not to rush in my attack. <laughs> yes, knight uh, g5. I think she could play here knight h4. I was thinking. But here, let me just calculate this. Instead of knight, uh, but here, uh, that's why I put my rook on f8. Uh, Actually, I put my rook on f8 uh, to protect this pawn on f5 because I played uh, knight g5 on the previous move uh, instead of rook f8. Then uh, it would be um, not good because of knight h4. But here, yeah, if I played here, yes, because now you go castle. Then knight back. h4. Yeah, yeah. And you cannot That's why I, this move. Yep. Yeah, that's why I played first rook f8, and after and because now after this, this move g you just go rook h. Now I can play rook h. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then knight f knight f3 is not possible because you take it and then take this pawn. Yep. Yeah. Now mm. it's it it looks uh, it's yeah forced to take. Yeah. Okay, yeah, um, the internet is so and so. Uh, bishop c1. And here I saw the opportunity to uh, come with my queen. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, that um, queen h2. Yeah. Nice. So move. I was going to make uh, checkmate uh, to h1. And I was uh, thinking about he'll move something like king e1. It's forced here, yeah. and then maybe queen g2. Then I, oh, uh, I would play uh, rook g2 here. Yes. And she cannot play uh, king d2 because of uh, rook f2. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and so oh, I like nice. this. Because yeah. this is a checkmate idea, there's also this coming along. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I even didn't see that she cannot capture the rook right now because of checkmate. Yes, uh, and if <laughs> this is played, I think this comes. Yeah. No, it doesn't yet work. But uh, still, I can go. Nice move. <laughs> 